Okay, so in today's math lesson, uh, we're talking more about absolute value and rational numbers, and we're kind of analyzing the two of them together and their relationship with one another. So we have me, uh, Mika and Joel each have a set of five rational numbers. Although their sets are not the same, their sets of numbers have uh, the same absolute values. Now, this is all about that number line over here. So if you know anything about that absolute value, we're talking about distance from zero. So if I have, let's say, one, two, three, four, five numbers cruising over here, positive values to the right of zero, one, two, three, four, five, and five headed to the left of zero, which makes them negative. If we know something about absolute value, we're talking about the distance from zero. So these guys both have the same distance from zero. So Mika, one of his numbers could be one, and Joel could have, uh, or Joel could have a number of negative one, and yet it's an identical list of absolute value because the absolute value of one is one, and the absolute value of negative one is also one. So they're looking for a list of five numbers, um, and it looks to me like you know you should be uh, creating a list of uh, opposite numbers because those opposite numbers will have the same absolute value because they have the same distance from zero. Okay, so that's the first part. It's kind of neat to think about these types of things with this not with these numbers and number lines. So here's the next piece. Here we have 14 numbers here. Right, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Each of these numbers belongs in one of these areas. Either this guy over here, either this guy over here, either this guy over here, or this guy over here. So we have a negative 4 and we have a negative 8. So uh, that negative 4, is it the greater number? Well, on a number line, here's that 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here's my negative 4. Uh, if I kept on going, 5, 6, 7, 8, here's my negative 8. Negative 4 is a greater number. All right, cool. So he found a home right there because he's not the greater absolute value. Let's see. So negative 8, let's see, negative 8 is over here, but his absolute value is 8 or distance from 0. So the negative 8 goes in here. He's the absolute, he's the, he has the greater absolute value. Let's see if any of those guys qualify in, in the center area here. Is the, it, it is the uh, greater number, and it's also the greater absolute value. Well, let's see. It is the, this is the greater number, but it's not also the greater absolute value, so it stays here. Okay, so it's in its right home. And this guy here isn't the greatest number anyway, so um, it doesn't belong anywhere else other than where it is. And then we have an area for none of the above which, of course, those guys already qualify for the other two, so they can't be none of the above, all right? So that's that guy. Let's take a look at the next one. I'm making a big mess of my screen here. Let's see. Now remember, each one of these numbers belongs in one of these spots, so we have a 4 and an 8. And I guess it's a good idea to draw a number line just to see what's going on here. I have a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's my 4 and my 8, so is the greater number, okay, let's see, so let's look at that 4 first, so the 4, is the greater number, no, that's not true, it doesn't belong there, the 4, does it have a greater absolute value, uh, no, because the absolute value of 4 is 4, so it's not the greater absolute value, it is the greater number, and it's also the greater absolute value, well, it's none of, it's none of them, actually, oh, none of them, which is down below, so that 4 goes here, okay, now let's take a look at this 8, is 8. It is the greater number. It is, yes. It is that greater number. But it, it uh, has the greater absolute value. It certainly has that as well. So, since it has both of those guys, it belongs in here for that number 8. Okay? So, uh, go through the rest of those pairs of numbers and uh, find out where they belong. And my advice, make that number line. It'll help. Okay? Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.